Mm-hmm. Well, I changed my name. And uh, it's changed my life, honestly, already. I had so many hesitations about doing this. I thought about it more casually for over a year and then more seriously for about half a year. It was in December of last year when I decided that 2023, I wanted to change my name. I had a really hard time getting to that point though, where I decided to finally do it. A lot of times when I read about trans people picking a new name, it sounds like a lightning bolt moment where there's like a new name and they're like, yes, this is it, it feels so right. Uh, and it feels right from the get go. And then they do it and everything is great. And uh, that wasn't so much my experience. Before I changed my name, I never felt 100% certain about doing it. And even since I've changed it, there have been moments where I wonder if it should feel more right. But I, I think that certainty and perfection are illusions, and part of being human is embracing the nuance of feelings, and it's okay to not feel 100% about something, because that type of certainty is not really common in life. But as these hesitations were coming up, I noticed that I was having similar feelings to when I started tea and to when I was uh, debating on whether or not that decision was going to be right for me. I had a lot of hesitations there too. I was really scared about what was gonna happen if I started, mostly because I didn't know what was exactly going to change physically in my body and not knowing what I was gonna look like a year from that point was a little bit scary to me. But I didn't take that as a sign not to do it. Um, I paid attention to those feelings, um, but discomfort for me isn't a red flag and it's not a sign to not move forward with something. And I, I learned a lot from thinking about starting tea and going through that process. And so when I began to have these hesitations around changing my name, I saw that they were echoing how I was feeling pre-T. And I was able to like recognize that and move forward despite some of the discomfort and hesitations that I had. One moment that was a real game changer for me was a work event in which I wore my coworker's name tag. Uh, I really didn't feel like wearing my own and he let me wear his. Throughout the night, I had a few colleagues come up to me and be like, oh, uh, should I have been calling you something else? Like, I didn't know. And it was really affirming to me because it, it made me understand how easy it could be. I'm really lucky to work at a place with such great people. And uh, that, that moment was big for me. It also gave me a glimpse into what it would feel like to have my name more closely align with my presentation. And that was huge too. In the past, wearing my old name tag in public with people that I didn't know was really anxiety inducing. And I would have so much anticipatory anxiety when it would come to introducing myself. But on this particular night, when I wore my coworker's name tag, I, I didn't have any of that. My name and my presentation wasn't a source of anxiety anymore, and I felt like I could engage with people a lot better um, because I wasn't really worried about how they were seeing me and if that matched up or didn't with how I saw myself. I've also realized throughout all of this that being uncomfortable makes it really hard to do uncomfortable things. And it's kind of a feedback loop in that way. And I realized that I really needed to address my own comfort in order to access confidence and comfortability in doing other things in my life. All of that being said, I still did have hesitations about changing my name. I had a lot of feelings of like, should this feel more right? Um, like I didn't really, I didn't really have that lightning bolt moment of like, oh yes, this is the name, I'm doing it. I never really felt that level of certainty and Eventually, I realized that I was just kind of waiting for a perfect time that was never going to come. I also kept anticipating a lot of these things that were maybe going to make me uncomfortable, like how do I tell someone from my past that I changed my name? Uh, but, but I really was just overthinking things, and I've really been working on navigating things when I actually get to the point when I need to navigate them, instead of anticipating them and letting that fear hold me back from actually doing things. So generally, my, my kind of mantra recently has been less thinking and more doing. The more I can just do things, um, the more I learn how to navigate them as I'm going through, and the less worrisome they are.
Also, a lot of the stuff that I anticipated being uncomfortable or difficult really wasn't that bad at all. Um, like telling people from my past, emotionally it was a bit uncomfortable at first, but it gets so much easier once you keep doing it. And if they respect you, they're just gonna be like, okay, cool, thanks for letting me know. And every new person that I told was a green light to just keep going. And I'm really grateful to have such wonderful people in my life that have all been super supportive. At the point when I knew I wanted to change it, I was struggling a little bit with how the information would be communicated to everyone in my life. I kept thinking that I had to pick a day and like tell everyone somehow to make sure everyone was on the same page at the same time. But honestly, that's super unrealistic and um, I talked to my therapist and they recommended reframing it as a coming out week, which really helped me too. And it ended up being longer than just a week. So I think a piece of advice I would have is to take your time with things. It doesn't all need to happen all at once. It's also okay if some people know and some people don't. You can really just navigate that when you get there. Not everything has to happen at once. I did end up kind of stretching it out over a week. I made a list of people that I wanted to tell and a lot of people I told personally. Letting people at work know ended up being way easier than I thought it would, mostly because I have the support of a really great supervisor and she sent out an email to a lot of the leaders who then communicated that information to their teams. That was amazing because I went to work the next day and everyone was kind of on the same page. I did have to correct a few people and talk to a few people, but it was way easier than I anticipated. It was a bit emotionally overwhelming though, especially the, the week in which I was telling people. It was exhausting. It, uh, I kept thinking it was like a lot of band-aids that just needed to be ripped off. Um, but the more I kept going, the easier it got. And the more I just started to see that like, I just need to worry about myself and I'm gonna tell people how I want them to see me and how I want them to refer to me. And if they love me and respect me, they're gonna do that. And if they don't, it's not really my problem anymore. For a while, I had a really hard time feeling like I was allowed to change my name. I think generally it's really hard to set aside what's been given to you. That includes name and um, gender identity. If someone tells you who you are and what you are, it's first hard to realize if you're not that thing, but then harder also to break out of that and sort of reassert yourself as, as who you actually are. And so for a while I just didn't feel like I had permission to change my name. I'm really lucky to have super supportive, awesome parents. They totally backed me. When I started going by Jonah at work and with my friends and family, I did feel a little bit of grief initially over losing my old name. I have a pretty good relationship with my old name. It's never something that I hated. It was more something that I felt as if I was growing out of. And so losing that was a bit emotionally hard. It felt like I was letting go a uh, part of myself uh, or a past self. And I was really sad for a little bit, but the grief was pretty short-lived and gave way to the comfort that I feel now. Also, I had to keep reminding myself that I can feel sad and it can still be the right decision. Um, a sad feeling isn't a bad feeling. And on top of that, feelings aren't ever really bad. And so you shouldn't beat yourself up about feeling a certain way. And so though I was feeling sad, I knew that it was just because of change. And I never wanna let sadness or discomfort hold me back from moving forward. I'm gonna make another video later on how I picked my name. If you commented on one of my last videos, saying that Jonah was a good name for me, you helped me a lot. I made that video before I had asked for input from my family or most of the people in my life. And it was at a point where I was just sort of needing some affirmation from the outside world. So yeah, if you commented, thank you. The aftermath of changing my name. Wow, I was not expecting to feel as good as I feel. 
I began to see how much of my social anxiety centered around being perceived by people. Once I changed my name, it felt like a huge weight had lifted. I've been able to be way more present with people and engage with people in a way that I knew I was capable of, but was having a hard time accessing. But now that I feel more aligned, more embodied, I can really listen better and I can be present with people in a way that I never was before. And I wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting to feel a bit more comfortable, but I, I was not expecting to feel as good as I do. It also helped me see a lot of the root of my social anxieties as well. For so long, I had experienced a lot of discomfort around people, especially new people. Since changing my name, I've realized how much of that goes back to feeling a misalignment between how people are seeing me, how I'm seeing myself, and my name. Ever since I began thinking about my gender and understanding that people were perceiving me in a certain way, I had been uncomfortable. I mean, I'm thinking about situations where when I was like 17 or 18 and my hair was short and I'd be with my family and get gendered male and it would be super uncomfortable. I don't think because it felt wrong, but because to my family it was wrong. Or like moments where I'd get perceived as male, but then say my name to someone and they'd like apologize or seem confused and that was always very uncomfortable to me. And I didn't really realize how much those moments weighed on me uh, or how much, um, how much emotional weight social interactions carried because I had a more feminine name but presented myself in a more masculine way. So my world has really changed a lot since changing my name. And for a while, especially leading up to it, I was like, oh, should I? have waited longer, like I'm not sure this is right, but after doing it, I was like, no, I should have done this sooner. But it's all a process. And this comes after over a year of thinking about things and writing down lists and talking to my therapist and talking to my friends. But yeah, it's a process and it's uncomfortable at times, but discomfort gives way to comfort and there's a lot of comfort on the other side.